Welcome and thank you for joining me for this brief presentation on technology integration in education. In this presentation, I will go over four of the main models used to integrate technology into the educational setting and then propose a new model that incorporates the best features of each one. Let's begin. The four main models used to integrate technology into education are one, the TPAC model, two, the SAMR model, three, the TIM model, and four, the TIP model. Let me briefly go over each model and then we will compare them later. In the TPAC model, the acronym stands for Technological, Pedagogical, and Content Knowledge. This model aims to bring attention to the idea that these three components, technology, pedagogy, and content knowledge, must work together in a balanced way to support effective technology integration within a classroom setting. The SAMR model, we see stages of technology integration. The acronym represents the four levels of this model. S is for substitution, A is for augmentation, M is for modification, and R is for redefinition. This model sets up a hierarchy beginning with early integration being substitution, which is basically substituting a tech device for a more traditional tool in order to complete the same task. For example, moving from note-taking with a paper and pencil to a note-taking application on your computer. Or as the example on this slide shows, using Google Earth instead of an atlas to locate a place. This is early integration. As you move up the SAMR hierarchy all the way up to redefinition, you can see that the use of technology becomes more complex and more transformative. The tech tools are being used to create instead of only to perform simple tasks. The next model is the TIM model. TIM stands for Technology Integration Matrix. This model is set up like a comprehensive rubric with five levels of technology integration and five attributes of learning environment. This model allows you to consider and measure how these two components work with each other to measure the effectiveness of technology integration. For example, we can look at the chart and identify what it would look like if the students were in a goal-directed learning environment with entry-level technology integration. That box reads, directions given, step-by-step, -step, task, monitoring. Whereas if we were in a goal-directed learning environment with transformational technology integration, it would look like extensive and higher order use of tools to plan and monitor. The last model we will look at is the TIP model, which stands for Technology Integration Planning. This model uses a step-by-step -step approach to help teachers analyze their usage of technology in the classroom along with its effectiveness. In phase one, you will determine the relative advantage. Phase two, decide on your objective for the lesson. Phase three, design integration strategies. Phase four, prepare the instructional environment. And phase five, evaluate and revise integration strategies. This model is a reflective model allowing teachers to analyze what worked and what needs revision. It is used for planning specific lessons and focuses on student outcome. Now let's compare the four models we've discussed. The TPAC model stands for technology, pedagogy, and content knowledge. It accomplishes these two things. It considers the three main components of education and emphasizes the importance of all three being used together. Also, it keeps the understanding of technology integration simple. The model is very simple to follow and simple to understand. What I felt was the best feature of this model was its simplicity. The SAMR model stands for substitution, augmentation, modification, and redefinition. Its accomplishments are there is a hierarchy of the four levels in which teachers can measure their technology integration. 
Each level includes a more intensive use of technology, and you can measure where you're located as a teacher and use the model to move up. I felt that the best feature of this model was that it uses this hierarchy to allow for a specific analysis of common learning practices. The TIM model stands for Technology Integration Matrix. It accomplishes the following. It's a comprehensive rubric, rubric that measures the five levels of technology integration plus the five attributes of the learning environment. It also focuses on pedagogy and it can be used as a measuring stick. The best feature that I felt that the TIM model had to offer was that it was a comprehensive rubric that could be used to collect data and measure effectiveness. And the final one, the TIP model stands for Technology Integration Planning. The TIP model accomplishes the following. It is a model to plan technology integration within specific lessons. It is a step-by-step -step method that teachers can follow. It focuses on student outcomes and the effectiveness of the lessons. And it is reflective. I felt that the best feature of this model was that it had a step-by-step -step method that teachers could follow, which kept it simple. On the following slides, we will take a look at the technology integration model that I designed that incorporates what I believe are the best features of the four models we've reviewed. This includes a simple design that's easy to apply. It allows for analysis through a hierarchy. It can be measurable like a rubric and it has a step-by-step -step method. The model I designed is called the EASE-T model, which stands for Easy Application to Synthesize Technology. It considers the areas of content knowledge, pedagogy, and technology as the TPAC model does, and it measures the level of effectiveness as the TIM model does. I have simplified the levels of effectiveness by having three levels instead of the TIM's five. These levels are displayed in a hierarchy style, as the SAMR model is. However, all levels and all steps must be followed, as in the TIP model. Let's explore the steps of the EASE-T model in greater detail. On step one, entry level, there are three things educators must consider. One, the content knowledge. What is a lesson without content? In this step, teachers consider what the objective of the lesson is and start to identify resources and technology tools that can support the objective of that lesson. Teachers also consider pedagogy in this step by identifying strategies of teaching that will support student learning best for the specific lesson. Finally, technology is considered. Is the technology you're considering just step-by-step -step instruction? Are students only working independently? Are you telling students specifically what tech tools they'll use and how they'll use it? If you answered yes, you are using an entry level of technology integration according to this model. As we move up to step two, we consider pedagogy and technology. If you are on level two, the adaptive level of pedagogy, you are moving from teacher-led lessons to student-led lessons. You are also incorporating reflective practice on the lesson by both you and students. Adaptive technology will start to incorporate student choice. Students will start to explore technological tool options and they will also begin to work collaboratively with the technology. The highest step on the EAST model is the use of transformative technology. This takes the lesson objectives identified in step one, incorporates student-led teaching and reflection, and tops off the learning experience with extensive innovative use of technological tools used in a global context. This level of engagement in technology includes students not only learning content, but sharing content in a way that has potential to reach others anywhere in the world. This may include creating a blog on the topics explored, creating a, and sharing podcasts, creating media stories and sharing them, and so many other things that may not even exist yet, but will in the future. Students will benefit 
to reach this innovative stage of technology integration as they move into jobs that will value this skill of innovation. Thank you for viewing this presentation on technology integration in education.